So do you wish to explain your um, barley harvesting process? Uh, cut the tops off, pull the weeds out, chuck the tops in a bucket, or in a trolley in this case. Uh -huh. Due to the fact that <coughs> I use the measurements for barley growing for the UK, not for rural Portugal. Um, so we've got a lot of weedage. A lot of weeds. Which, as we don't actually have a combine harvester, not much we can do about this apart from work our way through manually. Which, as you can see, it's taking a hot fucking minute. <laughs> Maybe we could pay Fernando to come and do this. I, he's really a builder, not a... Eight, and also, 80 euros is more than the cost of another bag of barley. True. Which is his day rate. Who's? Uh, our builder. Our builder. Oh, yeah. This is the whole section that needs to be done. Yeah, we bumped into the other day when we were on our way back from picking up the Le Cruiser. Can't get much more Portuguese than he is. Maybe don't pick up one of the ones that looks quite so nasty. What do you mean? Well, don't pick up one of the ones that's going black. Why? What does that mean? Oh, I got fungus. Oh, were they mouldy? Potentially. Okay. Well, it's not mould, it's a fungus. They all look a bit blank, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So the boys have decided that hand picking through the barley was too time consuming. So they have now resorted to strimming the barley down. There's Wojtek strimming over there. And Tom is raking up the barley and putting it on some tarpaulin. Tarpaulin. <laughs> And then we will sift through the weeds over the next few days. Mm -hmm. Good morning. So, we have changed the chicken coop area yesterday. The chickens have annihilated to everything over there. So we have moved the further side of the chicken fence over to this front section here which goes down to the stairs towards the goats in the main field oh you can oh, see wow. the mist coming in at the back um slight issue there huh slight issue there what the sailors want to snap ah there's the long leash here i mean we can't leave it with that one anyways um so this morning was the first day of letting the chickens free range in this section. So they'll have full access to sort of the front of the adega here, all the way on that green side there. They'll have shade with that big tree there. And then should they wish to, they can go down the stairs towards the next terrace and the main field. The issue is that dogs have had an emotional breakdown because the chickens are free ranging. Ooh. 
That one just flew straight down from the top terrace. And usually the dogs are very good with the chickens, but this morning they're deciding that they want to chase them. They've chased them up the house and they've chased them back into their coop. So we're going to put them on strings right, come on. Oi. to try and stop them. Not to stop them, but to get them some practice of leaving them. Off. Right, let's go feed some goats. morning it is a beautiful bright sunday morning here on the farm um i think we're gonna have a bit of a light day today because we've been sort of non-stop since we got back from the beach a week ago but some quick updates i can't remember if I, yeah no i think i did say didn't i we moved the chicken fence to the other side yesterday tom put up these um, wires on this wall and the plan is to put some shade cloth right underneath in front of this wall where the chickens were and plant some tomatoes. I've got a bunch of tomatoes that still need to go in. Um, so we're just gonna have a full wall full of tomatoes and the animal corn that we put in front of the chicken coop is doing very well. I also put in some pickling cucumbers in the front of some of them to see if I can train it and vine it up the stalks of the corn. Over the last two days, I have been weeding, 
removing bolted plants and then replacing with new plants on these front two beds, which are the longest beds that we have. And they are looking fresh. Um, yeah, this, these two beds took a really long time to do. <laughs> Weeding them and then replacing plants. Not, as, not an easy job. And, the, and then stalking a lot of the stuff that the dogs have gotten to. But now that we have the gate, or should I say now that we have the fence blocking the chickens from the veg terrace, it means we can also block the dogs. Oi, so, Salem! Out! Out! Look at her now in the chicken come. coop. You are not allowed in there. Salem, you're not a chicken. You're not a chicken. Not a chicken. Not a chicken. Anyway, as I was saying, we have put a gate here <coughs> so that we can block the dogs from the veg terrace. Fenton is absolutely fine on the veg terrace, but Salem is just too big. She just gets her fat little paws on all my seedlings and crushes everything. So we take it in turns when they're each allowed on here because if they're both on here, then they start to run around and play and crush everything. But so far, this fence is working beautifully. Isn't it, guys? Stupid no, I hate it. stupid. Tom is over there beating a hessian sack. Your barley. Separating it out. Beating your barley. Beat the barley, dear. Which seems to be sort of working.
we are finished. There are 20 tomatoes in here. On the left hand side we have some, what are they called? I think gold, golden pearl tomatoes. There's 10 of those in the middle of them. There's basil. And then on the right hand side we have um, Roma, I think is it, it's called. Roma tomatoes, which is what you use for making tomato sauce. And then I've dotted around some flowers. I believe that's snapdragons, sunflowers, zinnias, another sunflower, zinnia. Um, I think that's sweet william. More zinnia, sunflower, sweet william. Sunflower, zinnia, sunflower, and snapdragon on the end again. So in a few weeks, this should look beautiful. <laughs> what is on your head? Something on my head, don't be ridiculous. Your do rag. My sun rag. Tell me, is my preta rubbing off on you? <laughs> How's your um, barley threshing going? Well, some piles have got almost nothing in them. Some piles have got absolute loads. Okay. It's a bit of a... A bit of a roulette. Yeah, because like, one pile gave me that, right? Literally, fuck all. <laughs> and another pile of the same size produced that. Mm. So like, I think I might go just go down and cherry pick, to be honest. Because that, so, is about two kilos. Mm -hmm. And we put in eight. So, we put in eight, didn't we? We put 25 kilos of barley in that field. Really? Yeah. We're not going to put kilos of barley out for that field. Not a chance. There's a huge pile down there. Yeah, it's not got 25 kilos in it. Maybe that's more than two kilos. <laughs> Chickens are happy, don't they? Mm. Yeah, very happy with their new spot. Well, and all that. Also, the dogs are probably napping so they can have some peace and quiet down yeah. there. The bark bee. How's your uh, tomato planting done? That is going to look beautiful in a few weeks. Put some flowers in between there, some basil. <laughs> Hopefully it actually gives us enough tomatoes for us to be able to preserve for winter. If we really get canning. Yep. Can it. Oh. I'm sweating. The only thing I was thinking, we haven't put any like bean beans in to well, preserve. Let's put some in them. Yeah, might need to pop down to the supermarket, Tabawa. Farm shop and get some beans so we can dry some beans for stews. I've got a lot of beans. A lot of stew. Stew. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to take one of these and put a load of just heads in it, which I can just pour into there. Mm -hmm. Threshing machines. I'm using it. Not nice doing it by hand. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe you could just pay someone to do it for you. How? Who the fuck's gonna do this? I don't know. People who want free beer. Nobody's gonna do this for free beer, especially considering how little beer we'll get out of it. Anyway, let's look. Those lazy dogs. Is it too hot for pups? Huh? Too hot? 
Lazy doggos. Oh, you're so tired from doing nothing. Oh, time for a nap number 27 of 104. Hey bud, check you out on the new high quality noodle watch camera. Look at your schnoot in HD. Let's go check on Salem as well. We are stabilized high tech noodle cam. Sailing whales, we can see you on the camera. What are you doing? What are you doing, Sail? Oh, snuffle nose. Are you testing out the new camera? Oh, it's lovely. Look how easy it is. Have you explained how we have acquired this new camera? No, I haven't. Do you want to? Do you want to maybe cover your dignity first? <laughs> my dignity yeah. is covered. <laughs> we'll do a brief one explaining how my father swapped all a bunch of his old cameras for this. For this awesome thing. GoPro. Love it. Look at me. Look how clearly you can <laughs> see me. <laughs> and hear me. Delightful. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? Don't you love it, Joey? Eight hours of film time remaining. Happy, happy. glorious <laughs> 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 Salem, no jumping. Right. Down. <laughs> Once she, yeah, if she jumps up, you just lean back and then scritch. Or just sort of smack around the face. Yeah, that works as well. Oh. Got to do your dog wallops. Yeah, but usually a step back until she sits and then she can be petted. Yeah. Because oh. otherwise, because if she gets into the habit of jumping up when she weighs 60 kilos. That won't be funny. No. And a child may die. <laughs> I didn't want any children to die. I probably have muddy paw prints on my t shirt. Now. You do. Everyone does. So everyone around here is very dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? You filthy little monkeys. Yep. And there are flies everywhere. Mm hmm. It's rural, isn't it? And bits of sand as well. Oh yes, and bits of other stuff. Lots of bits. And insufficient geraniums. Oh, the pineapple is doing very well. Pineapple though. is, pineapple should probably be consumed. Oh, smell soon. the pineapple. That is yeah. ready to be picked. Oh my no. gosh, because I bought one of my friends one. See you in a bit. Off to get chicken. Welcome to the pineapple harvest. Thomas's pineapple is ready for harvest. We are about to harvest Thomas's pineapple. <laughs> And eat it in a delicious salad. It's very ready for harvest. Thank you, Salem. Just peeing Ryan for a minute. So I just cut off just below. Cut off just literally maybe a centimetre underneath where the end is. Oh wow, you can really smell the pineapple. Oh yeah, she's pineapple. Wow. Mmm, pineapple. And what we'll just take that bit off there, put it in water, and then put it over the next pineapple. Yeah, so basically cut it at the top here, remove all the first sort of few leaves, and then mm. stick it in water. It should re sprout, and then stick that back in the earth. Cool, and maybe that one will grow another one, you never know. Potentially, potentially. What you doing to my pineapple? I'm cutting it to the Mauritian way. Oh, you're doing your twisty slice? Yeah. Pineapple. Oh, right. Sliced in the Mauritian method. <laughs> we'll keep those fingers away from underneath them. <laughs> they don't cut through, they cut a spiral into it to get all the bits out. Interesting. And you get more pineapple for your money. And the other bits can then be frozen and used in sauces and things to boil down. As opposed to those uncertain twist things. My my brother brought home a friend 
who used to live in a part of the world where pineapples were a co common at the mm. side of the road. And he used to just chop them in half and eat a lot. Skin, Died young, mint, did he? Bowel, skin, bowel trauma. Skin. The, no, no. If, a, if a pineapple is fully, fully ripe in a very hot country, yeah. the whole you should be able to just grab one of those little sectors and just pull it out. I mean, I do that with kiwis. And yeah, but you're disgusting. What's the other one? Like, <laughs> I eat the skins of mangoes. I eat the mango by just chomping on the whole thing. Was this my one? I think it was, yeah. I think so. I would have put the bottle back in the fridge if you were going to use a glass. That will now be very warm. I should take this into place next to me here. Yeah? Is our fresh grown pineapple? Oh, Aaron. Tastes very nice. Tastes like pineapple. It tastes like pineapple. It tastes yeah, like you... pineapple that has never been near a tin. Because mm. tin pineapples are really quite uh, astringent. Do you want to chuck us a bit then? Mm. You know, pineapple usually makes my stomach hurt. Mine too. It makes my mouth burn. Mm. Well, that's that's because I think of the, all the metally bits in the, in the preserving. Oh, wow. Yeah, no burn on my mouth. Can I just take a little piece for the Jackie? Mm. Yes. I think we're justified growing more pineapples. We need yeah, to put in a greenhouse. Yeah. That's a huge difference from pineapple that you buy. Yeah, we can get some more. Like, lazy. Or, like, do they sell pineapple seeds? Can you get that? Probably. Not for you. Not for dogs. Yeah, it's not good for them. Basically, put two ends of the new wire into each one six inches long, so that you each one will then work. I just go through the batch and do. That. I mean, if you feel, yeah, if you, you know, unless there's something else you would prefer. No, 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 no I do. That's, that is right. a perfectly acceptable um, right. endeavor. Can I give me? Can you give me something else that will cut wire? Doesn't no, that take decision? No, because you might need. No, I've got. Uh, um, oh no, that actually, yeah. If you go, I'll just use these. Hang on, let me just double check. Look in the. Um, oh, you've got them. I brought them down. Yeah, yeah, use those. They've got wire snippers in them. So you'll need probably that. Do we have any other wire so we're not taking it off the main length? No. Okay, fine. Yeah, right. And I'll put a, I'll put six I'll put six to you know six inches on each one. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, if you get tired of it, don't, don't worry because it will be a while before they will go up. Yeah, absolutely. Um. There is your multimeter. That is it. Right. Uh, and Rosie will tell you what she's done with the electrical component cleaner in her moments of drunken rage. Um. It's probably upstairs. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
doing it is hot it is a hot day it is 30 degrees today tomorrow is 35 and then from tuesday it is 38 so i have been sorting some of my seedlings out i'm putting some carrots in pots because last year my carrots in the ground looked like fat toads <laughs> so i'm testing out if my carrots will look like normal carrots in pots and just having a general sort of all these seedlings there's still a lot of stuff that needs to go out i have been removing some of the shade cloth from the far end of the veg terrace and replacing it in between the lines of veg beds so that we don't have to strim in between these lines because strimming the shade cloth is an absolute pain in the butt it frays on the edges and then the plastic gets stuck in the strimmer and it just takes a really long time to do so hopefully this will fix that problem um there's 10 beds in this line and I've done about half I have about half more to complete and it's quite hard to do when it's this hot <laughs> but hey ho on we go also how are you guys enjoying this new camera I think the video quality should be much much better but also the audio i know we've had trouble with our audio before um so hopefully this is a lot clearer and you can actually hear us <laughs> when we're doing stuff but yeah let us know what you think Double Le Creuset. We have many Le Creuset. We're fancy. 
And you took your hair out. Uh -huh. Look at the stadium. And somebody got sunburn. It's nearly softened. Good afternoon. So, Tom, Dommage, has bought a thresher. What are you doing to your thresher, mate? I'm giving her a rinse, mate. I've got to give her a nice clean. Look at the colour that came up with. Can't hear you over all the spray. Look at the colour it came up once it was washed off. It's all blue. Oh, really? Yeah. And the sun. So what? Is it all dust? It's all... A little bit of... Clean, a little bit of cleaning up needed. Around there. But it's mainly filled. Right, clean up the metal work and I'll give it a you can find some cheap paint. Probably a bit of a push around this. It needs a bit of like folding together. So that's that. Anyways, I'm about to make for catch because it's too hot to do anything outside once again. Easy new boy. Isn't it too hot for my noodle? For my little nudes? Can I say hello to everyone? Noodle HD! Don't you go drink some water. Do you want an ice cube? Should we get you another ice cube? Ice cube! Yeah. Ooh, crackle. Crackle sounds. There you go, take it.
It works. It only bloody works. Oh, what that? On the boss, senor. Ah, it's not going. What the war? We're going to buy a new machine. But the machine is empty, right? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's empty. It's empty. It works. The machine, Stefan Schnader. What the war? Ciao. Good morning. So. My focaccia dough, oh wow, is ready for baking. The recipe that I found was an overnight recipe in the fridge to proof um, for 24 hours. And then this morning I took it out, gave it a quick knead um, and put it in this baking tray for four hours. And I've just gone to get some rosemary from the garden and I'm going to top it up also with some of our olives from last year. Unfortunately, none of our um, tomatoes are ready yet. That would be a good addition, but this will do. I'm going to do some coarse sea salt and our olive oil also from our harvest last year. First, jiggle the dough. Oh wow. Maybe I need <laughs> olive oil on my fingers. This was made using whole wheat flour because unfortunately Tom picked up whole wheat flour from the supermarket but it seems to have done its thing, so I don't think it's too much of a problem. It'll just be slightly denser, I think. Yeah, and then we'll do some of our olive oil. Some coarse sea salt. Rosemary. And olives. In the oven for 20 minutes. Taste the whole rain. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good. Mm. 